again the wife is home past 2 a.m. on the Wednesday As you can see she's arriving now Good morning. Two in the morning. Two eleven. Was last seen June twenty second at seven thirty a.m. Arrives June twenty third, two a.m. on a Wednesday. the last time you saw her? When she, hmm? when she dropped us off. When was that? No, when she dropped us off at Grandma's. Was that yesterday? Today. Today is 2 in the morning. It's already a different day. Well, then yesterday. to 12 a.m. All right. A mother who's never here wants to fight me for child support, wants to fight me for custody of the children, but yet she's never here to take care of the kids. So this is what the state of Texas and the courts are rewarding custody to. Um, obviously, there's no concern for the children on her part. Her part is mostly a concern with her friends, her boyfriend, and supporting her lifestyle. So, a question that you might want to ask is, if a person has enough money to go out and drink every other day, then why ask for child support and custody of the children if, you A, you have enough money to support your dirty habits and not give the children the money they deserve because you rather support a lifestyle and B, you can't take care of the kids because you're absolutely obviously going out and entertaining yourself and supporting this lifestyle. So, again, Texas, if you're going to reward, do it right. There are fathers out there that care about the kids. to talk Hold well it turns out that you were at the park lying down in a blanket with another guy holding hands and I already so, told you since last year I want nothing to do with you I don't know why you're still here so uh, well, uh, it's not a divorce until you sign the papers. Well, bring so the papers. Where are the papers? I have. Bring them. And I will. Okay, so until see. then, it's actually considered cheating. Wow, did you know that cheating is not illegal? So you admit to cheating? I'm not cheating. I'm not with you. Since last year, I told you, go fuck yourself. I don't want so to be it's with you. So by, by law, it's cheating unless the divorce papers are signed. Did you know that cheating is not illegal? It is. Really? It's we'll adultery. It, it's adultery. We'll you so you admit to adultery. We'll talk to you so you admit to adultery. Oh. oh, so she's getting violent now. That. <gasps> oh my God. That's violent. That's getting violent. Get out you of can't the room, push please. me. That's push me. <laughs> you. you. Hmm? That's that's pushing me. That's assault. You just assaulted oh. me. You just assaulted me. Who has a record? Who has huh? a record? No, but you pushed me. Fine. That's assault. Oh. 
calm the whole time, and I need to record this because I'm okay, not. You I'm just gonna hold it down so I can see your face. Yeah. You can only you can record all you want. Because right, hold I it know. down. Okay. All right. But okay, we're gonna record you right now as well. Okay. Yeah. For a statement. All right. But if you're antagonizing somebody like I'm that, I'm not. Uncle, why well, you showed me the video? Okay. Yes. Well, we're gonna advise the DA of that. I mean, the district attorney. Okay. Because it's fair. It has to be fair to both parties. Roger. So. If I'm to pursue, um, say, a divorce, uh -huh. I also need Evan, so I have every right to do that. No, That's I'm not, what I'm I didn't tell you. What did I say in the beginning? Repeat so, what I say uh, so the camera can hear you. Do you remember what I told you? You're saying I'm, I'm in Texas, but I'm not. They said that it's no. not illegal it's for you It's not illegal, sir. Huh? You can record all you want. It's not illegal for yeah. Okay, just like you record me, you record her. Okay, but let's be down to earth here. You're kind of antagonizing I'm me. I'm not. Here. Well, I can see it that way. Mm. Okay. That's open and we're objective, to, okay, but we do have to advise the DA that's of what you're your doing, interpretation, okay? but it's not also, I'm not sir, what you need to be careful with if yeah. you want to push the issue, she can push the issue of I'm not for a strand because you are Very blocking true. the doorway. And in the video it clearly shows you're blocking the doorway to the She bathroom. pushed me. Yes, because you're blocking the doorway. I'm not. She's yeah. really pushed me. I you just can wanted... push on not for restraints. I get that you're frustrated, man. Okay. Yeah. Obviously you're stating that she's that she's cheating on you. Okay. So you're frustrated, you're trying to get whatever you can on her. Uh, that, that's what it's got boiling down to, okay? So, how old are you, sir? If you don't mind me asking. 36. 36 year old, mm -hmm. and how long have you been married to her? 12 years. 12 years? Yeah. Okay, so that's a long time to be married, and it's a long, that's a big issue for you guys to be divorced, okay? Right. So you're upset, all right? Well, and that's understandable, okay? But just what I'm telling you, you know, if you want, if you want things to go smoothly, I don't know if you're trying to put somebody in jail or anything. No, I mean, I'm calm. What yeah. was the reason for you to start recording and then start mentioning the fight. So, my children... Because when you first put the video up, you're fine and you say, okay, let's see, let's see where we're going to go, pretty much. And then you're the one that initiated the conversation about her cheating on you. Yes. But why, why did you want to record that? I'm just be, curious. Um, my children... Speak up so the, the camera can hear you too. My uh, children speak. came home. Okay. And they said, why is my mom... Uh-huh lying down in the grass in the park holding hands with another man did you go to the park and see her do it or what? no i didn't go I, they they got home at at 10 o'clock at night so she stated in the video that you reported okay that uh you that you already knew about her having a, an affair no i did not know so this is the first time you've ever found out about this? yes she she said so she's lying in the video is what you're saying yeah because She's saying, I, I, I told you I don't want to be with you, but it doesn't mean uh, I didn't know she was actually went out there and, and got a dude, you know. Okay. If I she's had, lying. You're saying she's yeah, lying. She's lying. Saying she's lying. Yeah. Okay. What's the reason for your divorce, if you don't mind me asking? Um, we just had issues over the years, you know. Has any of those issues been adultery? Uh, did you suspect anything as far as adultery? I did, concerned? yeah, on her you Facebook. You also stated in there that adultery is illegal. On the video, you said yes, it's illegal. It's not illegal, sir. Do you understand that? Are you in the military? You said Roger right now. No, I, I'm not in the military. Why did you say Roger? Or what kind of job? It's just you I work with military folks. Okay. All right. So in the military, it's it's illegal according to the Uniform Code of Military Justice. You can be reprimanded for it, but we're not we're civilians, sir. You understand that? So just to educate you a little bit, it's not illegal. Okay. Obviously, it might not look good for her in court. All right. Look at me, sir. You don't need to look at the camera. Maintain may eye cool. contact with me, okay? We're both men here, right? You can film me all day, all you want. But let's be men here, okay? That's no need to get aggressive, okay. sir. No, no I'm need just to, you're you getting aggressive with me. You know, that's that's not fair because Come on, sir. I feel threatened now. Why? Because what have I told you? you How have I threatened you in any way? You know what, question. sir? I I don't feel comfortable dealing with you. I I feel threatened. Okay, sir. Well, I'm here. I'm investigating right now. Okay, my partner's already talking. Roger, okay. but I think you're taking a biased approach and you're being aggressive. No, sir. I don't I'm, feel trying to, I'm trying to tell you what I saw in the video just, that you just showed me voluntarily right now. No, I just okay. can't do that. No. Okay, well, I feel scared now. Okay, because well, you don't step out. Do you have any weapons in the in the household? Yeah, but I'm not going to use them. Where are they? Right there. Where? What are they? Behind the couch. M4. Back up. I'm going to take it. I'm not going to seize it. I'm just going to move it over here for my safety. Do you understand that? Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. See, I'm, I don't have anything to hide. I'm being open. Well, I know my honest. partner asked you this when you came in and you liked it. You didn't tell me. No, I did not. No, I did not. Yeah. I said. So who should feel threatened now? 
you know, you're you're being aggressive now. You're violating my rights because you're getting angry at me for 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 not feeling comfortable. Me, I feel threatened by you. No, sir. I'm getting angry because you didn't advise us that you had any weapons. No, that's not true. That's not true. You're getting aggressive with me, and I feel threatened. You want to step in there? You can. I'm just gonna stay here. I'm not gonna talk to you anymore. It's okay. Can you step over there? I feel comfortable. Stay right here, sir. If you stay over there. You called us, sir. I called you, but I feel threatened by you. These guys. I don't feel threatened by. I feel threatened hey, by partners, you. Sir. I know you're their partners, well, you but I feel threatened. Right? I'm not going to get any closer. I'm not going to do anything to so, you. So, I'm not scared. Okay, my partner's going to stay there, sir, okay? My partner's going to stay there. Yes, yeah, so, so, I'd rather talk to you or anybody else, but well, not him. Talking to you. you know? You, you don't have to talk to me. I stopped talking to you a while ago. Yeah. Okay. No, you didn't. You right, came so, out right? so, I'm, 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 I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I've had this clip so long that, you know, I forgot exactly the the page I got it from. It, it originates from YouTube here, okay? And it chronicles, it's a series of videos, the short uh, videos from this man's phone, chronicling, chronicling his wife's uh, infidelity and her attitude towards it and the effect it has on the family. I think that he was making the videos for uh, an pending divorce, but he was not hopeful that things would turn out in his favor, even though she was, uh, you know, she was very blatant and, you know, about her cheating, as you saw. Okay, she didn't care. She didn't care what anything that she was doing in the house and how it affected the household. All she cared about was her own self gratification. Okay, and uh, you know, some people might say he was at fault for talk, for bringing his children into the situation between him and their mother. But I don't think so and shit. I think that you should have full disclosure and shit because um, a lot of times the men are not gonna get a favorable decision in divorce and child courts, okay? So I think the full disclosure is, you know, these days I think it's, a, it's, it's paramount, it's tantamount, it's a must, okay? Because you're gonna be demonized anyway. You know, sooner or later you're gonna hear that kid talking about how you were, you know, a shitty father because he wasn't around and blah, blah, blah. You know, that kid's not gonna take the time to sit down. A lot, well, some kids will, but like a majority of kids are not gonna sit down in their adulthood with their wayward father and shit and, and discuss their relationship, you know, get closure, you know, proper closure. It's just not in the cards. So they're raised in a, if they're raised in a single mother household, they're gonna be likely over emotional and shit, not prone to any reasonable thought or, you know, critical thinking, I suppose, you know? So I'm calling this uh, surviving marital infidelity. No one gives a fuck. And it's true. No one gives a fuck. Okay. You have to get that into your head. All right. No one's coming to save you. No one's going to help you. Okay. All right. Even if you have friends and family there, you know, there's only so much they can do for you. You have to do it for yourself. Okay? Nobody gives a fuck. Then, you know, yeah. What this guy, I'm going to you know, lay out some things this guy should have done. Some of them might not be legal. But, um, well, this guy should, you know, I don't know what happened to this guy. Okay? I just want to be honest about that. The videos doesn't have a conclusion. We don't see what happens and we don't, we're unable to find out what happened because it, it just stops, you know? And these videos were on YouTube for like, uh, probably like almost 25 years now. This, this video has been on there. And I had it on my laptop for a minute. And I decided to roll it out and shit because I have a new channel and I'm building content for it. I want to put some original content here and shit, okay? You see a guy that's being slowly driven insane by his wife's infidelity you know he doesn't seem overly aggressive you know it doesn't seem like an act we we can tell when someone's you know kind of toxic themselves and this guy uh he was just taking it on the chin from his wife and you saw the wife and shit. she was nothing to look at all right she was nothing she was every bit the woman that had had more than one kid and was a bust down okay she was happily a bust down and she didn't care because she knew that he would be home when she got there so that she could, uh, you know, take out her, you know, her feelings of inadequ inadequacy on him and shit. He's her punching bag. 
All right, he's her narcissistic supply. When she looks at his face and she sees the pain that she's causing him, it makes her feel like she's someone, all right? And the only logical thing this guy could do was just keep it a buck and shit and have as little contact to do with her in and out of the house as possible and shit. All right, when they said shit, uh, you know, in that second clip, he was actually laying in the bed when she walked into the bedroom. She probably went out and had sex with some rando and she's gonna get in the bed, lay next to him and shit, in the marital bed. And she doesn't think shit of it and shit. You know, and they wonder why marriage rates have uh, fallen as drastically as they have and shit. It's because of this fucking mindset shit. We hear every day, all day about how women feel when their husbands and boyfriends cheat on them and shit. Uh, you know, when a guy just gets sex and runs off and all that bullshit. It's becoming a thing of the past. It's going extinct slowly because men are just doing this thing called lying down, lying flat, where they don't engage. Because no one wants to go through this kind of shit, knowing that there's no recourse, there's no assurance that they'll have a fair day in court. You know, they won't get their due process. All right? I suppose this guy, I think it was Texas. I don't know if maybe Texas is a no-fault state. And I, I don't advocate for anybody that wants to get married in the states to marry in a no-fault state. I think you should have your venue in an at-fault state, you know, because that gives you some leeway. You can actually sue the person that sleeps with your wife. You can you can sue for alienation of affection. All right? This gentleman right here, he's torturing himself and shit. I think that, you know, he shouldn't have done that. He shouldn't even call... Um, I wouldn't even call her fucking ass. You know, she disappeared for a whole fucking day and you knew she was cheating and shit. Don't fucking call her shit. You know, when your kid go take care of your children and when your kid gets home, you ask your kid about any weird things that he's seen. You you video, you know, record that shit with your phone and you write it down and get your notes together for for some kind of attorney or a paralegal or something. There's got to be something. This, the courts have resources for people that don't have means and shit, okay? They don't never tell you that and shit. They always talk about getting a lawyer and shit. But if you go down at these courthouses, they do have attorneys working pro bono. And that's what this guy could have done. Because I'm pretty sure he was strapped for cash. That was a sizable house. And, uh, you know, she had she didn't have a care in the world. After being missing for 24 hours and shit. And he had no idea where she was. But he, he did have an idea that she was sleeping with some rando. Or sleeping with a guy or something. Or a girl. Who knows? I think he shouldn't have gave a fuck. He shouldn't have said shit. He should have turned all the fucking lights off in the house. And, you know, him and his kid, he should have gone to his kid's room and, you know, bunk in there with his kid and lock the door, you know, and go to sleep. She ain't going to disturb him. Long as she knows that he's in there, she's going to feel like she's somebody, okay? But she's really nothing. You saw her. You saw her. She's not even a last call, bitch, that you get at like uh, 2 a.m. when it's, you know, last call at the bar. You know, she's not even that. She doesn't even rate. She doesn't rate, okay? She looks every bit the bust down, the tired, you know, you know, pea sleeve that then shitted out some kids, and now she's in her, she's having her fucking midlife crisis with God knows who, you know? You don't, you know, obviously don't sleep with her. Don't sleep with her, you know? Go in, bunk with your kid, talk to your kid. Go in and sit down with your kid and say, hey, you know, things are going to get kind of rough. But I'm there for you. I love you. Okay? Your, your mom has made some decisions that's going to affect his family. All right? And right now, let's just try to get some sleep. And, uh, you know, in the morning, I'll take you for, you know, I'll take you to IHOP or something. And we can have a meal. And I'll drive you to school. And then I'll do what I got to do. You know? And he should, like, by the time he takes his kid to school and gets back, she should be out of the house again. And, you know, he should, you know, if he comes home and she's not there. And, you know, I say like around the third day of that kind of bullshit, just make sure that you have, you know, once she's, you know, once she's done with that bullshit, um, I think you should change the locks on the door. I know that's like, that might not be legal, but I think that you should do it to give her a fucking wake up call without verbalizing it. All right. She's going to call the cops. The cops are going to come out there. They're going to make you let her in the house and shit because she lives there, you know? But it's gonna send a message, you know. He take the, you know, you're gonna collect the cops. Um, you know, they ha they have cards with their names on it and their badge numbers. You're gonna collect that. And you're gonna add that to the pile. 
all right? And you're gonna seek legal representation. And you're gonna tell her nothing. You're not gonna engage with her. When she talks to you or says anything, you be very short, you know? Don't have a fight with her or nothing, you know? And, and you know, if you only possible, you, you and your sons should you know, bunk out, you know? Go over a family member's house and stay over there as much as possible and let them know what's going on. Say we're going through some troubles and we're gonna get a divorce. And I want things to be above board and shit, you know? Or we could just stay at a motel or something, you know, if it gets real bad, you know? And just document everything she does. You know, if she starts talking trash, talking to you or acting weird in the house, and, you know, break out your phone and film that. You know, don't say anything. Don't give her anything to feed off. She's a loser. All right? The greatest thing she'll ever do in her life is cheat on this man. All right? Whether she wants him or not. The greatest thing she'll ever be, she'll ever do in her fucking life, she, she'll ever amount to anything, was just torturing her husband. Instead of giving him uh, the divorce he so desperately needs to move on with his life and shit, because he's obviously dedicated. See, people don't understand what, like, women cheat on men in long term relationships and marriages and shit. Men have a tendency to fall on their sword. You know, they don't, they blame themselves first. They blame themselves first. You know? And I say, like, fuck it, you know? I say, don't don't put anything into the house. Put the bare minimum into the house. You know, if you can, you know, make sure you, you know, just make make life uncomfortable for it, you know? You know, if you, if you want, you can put a lock on the, the bedroom door. You should put a lock on the, the bedroom, the bed you used to share with her, the bedroom, the main bedroom. You should put install a, a, a big-ass deadbolt lock on that shit. You know, and force her to sleep on the couch. And then when she asks you about that, say, oh, well, you know, you're stepping out and I had to fumigate the room. I had to take the sheets off. I had to get rid of new stuff in there. And, you know, I, I, I can't have you in there. You know, I put all your things in the garage, you know, in a nice little bin I got from, you know, Target and shit. I got you in a clothes bin. They can go in there and do your thing and shit. And if you have a problem with that, I, I might put a... I might put a deadbolt lock on the bathroom too. All right, I know it's shitty, but you know, I, you know the Orwellian society that we live in. Uh, nothing's nothing's copacetic. Nothing's fifty-fifty when it comes to marriage and the child courts and shit. Okay, you're gonna take a you're gonna take a L anyway. You're gonna be paying her anyway, and just have no just give her nothing to feed on. You know, without emotion to feed on, without you know, uh, you know, behaviors, you know, wild behaviors from you in reaction to anything she does. Uh, what does she have? Okay, she has her busted peace sleeve, you know, and her, her, uh, you know, her, uh, DoorDash peen that she's sitting on. You saw that woman. She's nothing to look at, okay? And even if she was, she's nothing. Once she steps out and she does that thing where she disappears for three days, you know, and I want to amend that, what I said earlier, you know, before, you know, the thing about putting the, you know, changing the locks. I'm not cha saying don't change the locks, but I'm saying before you change those locks, let her do it for th a three day cycle or a four day cycle. At most five, file a missing police report on her. File a missing police report. Get that, get the information. Get the officer badge number or whatever the fuck you reported. And then change those fucking locks. Okay? And just ride her ass. You know, if you you know, if she gets primary custody of the kids, stay on her bumper with the with the with the uh, CPS. You know, call that shit in. You know, when you see some aberrant behavior, start calling those things in. Or, you know, having a, a friend call that call that in on her. You know? So that she knows that you're you're somewhere around, you know. That you're gonna you're, you're gonna take care of your kids, whether she likes it or not. You're gonna be a part of your kids' life, whether she likes it or not. And tell the courts that you want uh, post divorce that you want her to, the baby to pick up your children at the police station. Okay, you can request that. You can re write that in the paperwork that all child trade offs will occur at a police station, and that way you have coverage. All right. I don't know what happened to this guy. But I hope that he's okay, and I hope that things turned out in his favor. You know, I could have said a lot more shit, but maybe I'll say that for another video or shit. But, you know, this has been uh, pretty much kind of like, you know, just a personal tutorial and shit, you know. 
I'm not a professional or anything. It's just my opinion. Okay? And I want you to understand that you have to be un unapologetically masculine. Okay? If you want to be happy. And I'm sorry to say that, you know. But it's what the women are telling us, okay? When you read between the lines. You know, all this egregious behavior. And they talk about what's masculine or what's not masculine. And you see who they ride or die for and shit. What does that tell you and shit? You're supposed to have a blah, free rock attitude towards their behavior. It's not supposed to mean shit in the scheme of things. Okay? You set the tone. You are going to be the head of the house, be the fucking head of the house, be a man. Okay? Whatever you think that is. No woman can't tell you about being a man. Because she's never been one. This message has been paid for by the Dusties. Yes, the niggas you love to hate.